Hey guys, it's me, Jeff as SLT, and today I've got a brand new Basics for Beginners episode for you. Today we'll be talking about how to move around a page in Coral Draw, and things like how to center images, and how to zoom in and out, you know, simple things, but really help when you know them. So this is the page, this is what we did uh, in our last episode, just setting up a page. It, by the way, if you want to print your image, make sure you do a four-sized, because otherwise it probably won't print that well. Remember that if you want to print your image, make sure it's a 4 if you just want to use it on a computer, then the, what I said yesterday, 1920 by 1080 pixels, is fine. First of all, we're going to talk about the scroll wheel. It's very important in this. If you want to zoom in and out, uh, it's very important because you need to push it forward. So if you scroll forward, you can zoom in. If you want to zoom out, pull it out. And it's very, 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 very easy, nice and simple. Scroll wheel, very important. Also, if you want to go from side to side, it's not that great, but... If you want to go from side to side, hold down control on your keyboard and scroll up and down again, and that will move from left to right. It's not that useful, but it's in there, so might as well use it. Uh, you can also hold scroll wheel down. So if you click on your scroll wheel and hold it down, it'll come up with a white hand, and you can use that to move around, keep it held, and move around your page. It's a bit laggy, so it might distort it a bit, there we go, but it'll uh, jump back, catch up uh, very soon. So, you can zoom in and do that, and that's how you move around a page, that's, those are the very, very basics. Next is something quite important, which are guidelines. If you see you've got uh, rulers up here to show your measurements of your page, and you've got up top and down the sides, if you hold, left click down on these rulers and drag, you'll see you've got this dotted line and you keep dragging and you've got a guideline and you can see here it appear under guides all pages and you've also got the ones on this side so hold left down and you can place it where you want now these aren't perfectly in the center so if you want to center guidelines or any image at all this is very important if you want to center anything on your page you select it as you see these go red most things don't but these go red, you press P on your keyboard, simply P, and it will center them for you in the middle of your page. It's very, very important, that key. I use it all the time for quite a lot of designs and things, so it's very useful. Uh, so, However, if you want to get rid of them, you can hold them and drag them back to their sides, and it will come up with a little bin, if you saw there, do it again, little bin sign. It won't get rid of them forever, you can get them back. But, uh, or if you want to get rid of them a bit quicker, you can just press delete on your keyboard and they'll have gone from here. So you can see, nothing there anymore. Now, over here, you've, you've got a different way of uh, zooming in and out and stuff. So you've got zoom here and pan, the same things as the scroll wheel, but keys, but without having to use your mouse, uh, your scroll wheel. So if you press left click, so it's got a plus, it'll zoom in for you. If you right click with your mouse, it'll zoom out, you hold the wheel down, move, and pan if you don't want to do, if you want to sort of view it rather than have to keep holding down scroll wheel, you can pan by just holding left click with the pan tool. It's also quite good because you can't sort of select items and objects, so if you want to move around and do a bit of looking into things and your design, it's very, very good, very, very useful. But I don't tend to use those myself. So that's about it for moving around a page, and uh, well, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, please write down in the comment section below to tell me what you'd like to see sort of improved about these videos, whether they're helpful or not, and uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time, bye!